friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. Today is Sunday Fun Day and I have a thrift haul for you. My hubby and I are celebrating 31 years of marriage and today's our anniversary, the day that I'm filming this. So I decided to participate in Sunday Fun Day and show you our fun day that we had for our anniversary. And you know me, it involved thrifting. So the host of this collab are Yanni and Diane from Deco Easy, and their co-hosts are Trish and Kay from the Crafting Cousins. So if you haven't checked out their channels, be sure to check them out. And there's gonna be a playlist, which I will link in my description box below. So make sure you follow along for all of the fun. Are you ready to see what I found thrifting? Let's get started. Hi friends, today is our anniversary, 31 years. Hi baby. Hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> We're heading out on a road trip. Well, I woke up to a surprise this morning. It had snowed, I was horrified, but it actually is really pretty. This piece caught my eye because I'm kind of obsessed right now with the little silver teapots that were from restaurants. And I also have a little restaurant creamer, but I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe something to make coffee? I've been looking for one of these with a yellow topper. I'm pretty sure I found one a while back and I passed over it. I wished I had bought it. I thought this was really pretty and would be awesome for fall decor, but I couldn't find a price on it anywhere, so I just decided to pass over it. Here they had some green items grouped together, and so I was looking to see if I could find anything for my kitchen. I loved this picture. I'm pretty sure my mom had one like it, maybe a different color when I was a kid, and it was $4. Oh, cute sugar and creamer alert. And they're the right colors for my kitchen. Mm. This piece reminded me of Fiesta, but it was not. I loved the smaller size of this and thought it was just so pretty. Now you know I'm a sucker for a cute figurine and boy did this fill the bill. It was $1.50. I thought this little silver creamer was rather cute with the wooden handle. It was $1.00. I thought this picture was really pretty. I loved the church and the covered bridge, the little boy and the dog, and I'm pretty sure my mom has a painting on her wall by the same artist. We had lunch at a cute little pasta place called the Spaghetti Warehouse. The architecture was fabulous in this restaurant, and the food was really delicious. I especially loved the bread. Back to thrifting.
My mom ordered me a craft kit of the month when I was a little girl, and this was actually one of the projects that I made. Isn't it cute? This was one of my favorite toys when I was a little girl. It's a vintage 1970 Barbie camper. Oh my gosh, was it fun to play with. I am primarily a Yankee Candle girl, but I do like to look at other candles and see what they have to offer when thrifting. So here's two that caught my eye. Fun fact, I am allergic to dogs. However, I am not allergic to Homeco dogs. <laughs> Aren't these three little dogs here adorable? And for 25 cents each for Homeco? Wow, that one there was my favorite. I got quite an assortment of items. As you can see behind me, I have a new kitchen and I'm picking up pieces. I wanna finish decorating it so that I can show you the whole reveal and show you all my decor. So I picked up a couple things for that. And then I'm also selling at a booth now and in an antique mall. And so I picked up, up a couple things for that as well. Let's get started with this fun item. I adore candles. I love them and I love the baking scent. This one is a root candle, which they're really super expensive. It's brand new. It's never even been burned and it, the scent is Martha's Sugar Cookie. And it was 50 cents, you guys, so I was really happy to get that. Mm, it smells so good, so I can't wait to burn that. And then I found this at the same thrift store. I about fell over and fainted. It's a Burroughs typewriter ribbon, and there's actually a ribbon in there. I can't get it open, <laughs> but I've started collecting these from watching Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. You guys, it was a quarter. <laughs> so I thought that would be really cool to use in the fall, maybe on a tiered tray. And also I'm gonna be displaying all of my ribbon cases, or I guess you call them ribbon tins together when I get enough to do that. So I was tickled to find that. And then again, at the same thrift store, I have been looking for very reasonable items that I could maybe turn a profit on and at least make my rent at my booth. So I found these three cuties. Here's the first one. This is a Homeco dog, Dalmatian, and it was 25 cents and it has the Homeco sticker on it. So I got that. And then this one's my favorite. Look how cute he is. And he was 25 cents with the Homeco sticker as well. And then lastly, this one. Same thing. They all had the stickers on and were a quarter. I couldn't find anything wrong with any of them. So I thought that was quite the find. I'll see if they sell. This item I found at another store. It was at the Goodwill. There was bins on one side and just a regular thrifting on the other side. I didn't find anything at all in the bins, but I found this and it's not vintage to my knowledge. On the bottom it says, MSRF Inc. and it's from Chicago, Illinois is the company, but it was made in China. It says hand wash, not suitable for the microwave. But I just love the color. It's that sagey green. If you saw my bread box redo, then it's right over there. <laughs> um, if you saw that video, this is almost the identical color that I painted it. So I knew it would look good in my kitchen. So that was $2. And then I found this. This was also $2. I didn't realize how cruddy looking it was on the top. So I'm gonna try to clean that up. But really I just want it to display and bring some cheery fun into my kitchen. So that was $2. They mark with like a green crayon there, a green marker. So there was that and then 
This was at the same thrift store, one of my favorite items of the day. Look, it's a set. Look at these, how darling they are. If you watch my channel, you know that I love creamers, sugars and creamer sets. And these were marked a dollar each on the bottom. So $2 for the set. And if you know anything about these, I would love to know. They look hand painted to me, but there's no marking at all on the bottom. So I was wondering if somebody just bought these plain sugar and creamers and painted them or if a company made them or what. So I would love to know if you have any thoughts on these. And won't they look great in my kitchen? Next, also another kitchen item. I found this. It is Pyrex. If you know anything about this, I'd love to know. It kind of reminds me of the refrigerator dishes. Um, it does say Pyrex on the bottom. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. And then the price on that was 99 cents. And it's a lovely gold color. Let's see, this is a practical item at, at, the, same good, at the same Goodwill. There's 48 file folders in here for a dollar. They're marked originally from Kmart for $2.96. And I thought that was an excellent buy. I can use these either at my house for organizing, I have files for everything, or at my mom's house. I do all of her paperwork and help her. Now, there is one item that I did not bring to the table with me, and that's because it's ticking. Do you have any guesses? If you know me, you probably do. Yes, it was a Baby Ben clock. I found it at this new store we've never been to, new to us. My husband took me there and, oh my goodness, I can't wait to go back, but this Baby Ben clock was $2. So now I'm torn as to whether I should keep it or try to resell it. I do have quite the collection of clocks, but it's really in perfect condition and it's ticking away, it works. So I'm debating about that. Let me know in the comments below what you would do. Okay, let me take a look. Okay, I did save my favorite for last, but I do see one other item I didn't show you yet. This was at the same store that I got the clock at, and I think it's Thumper. And uh, it was marked with a sticker, a green sticker, and I thought that it was gonna be $2, but it was only $1. So maybe they had a special sticker of the day color, but I thought that would go cute in the grandkids bedroom and it's plastic and they can't break it okay and now for the grand finale here as far as my thrifting this was my favorite item of the day thrifting look how cute she is i about missed her i was in a goodwill and i had already looked through everything or so i thought and I was going from the back of the store to the front and I thought, well, I'll just look again. And here she was hidden away. You guys, she is a Lefton. There's the sticker. I already looked her up on eBay. She sold for around $19 and look at the price. $1. I can't wait to use her in my tiered tray next St. Patrick's Day. Won't she be adorable? <laughs> I, I really about fainted because I love leftins and I often look at them on eBay and think, should I get one? Because I really want one. And then I say, no, I'm not going to spend the money because I'm too cheap. Maybe I'll find one in the wild. And sure enough, this was something I've been looking for. So I was really tickled to find her. Okay, and now I have two little bonus items for you. This my dad gave me before he passed away. I found it in the basement and I thought it was just darling. It's a little creamer, I think, from the restaurant. I'm not sure how he had it, but if you've seen my recent videos, you know I've gotten into the little restaurant teapots and I thought this would go so cute with it. I had it up in my room and I forgot to film it. Or if I did film it, I'm sorry if you've seen it already, but I don't think I did. So I'll show you a little clip of where I'm gonna put that with my little teapots. And this item is so, so special to me. It was my dad's, my mom bought it for him years ago, and it's always hung on the wall in the extra bedroom. It used to be my brother's room. Check this out. 
I love it. <laughs> I'll read you what it says in case you can't read it. 1911 Diamond Tea Old Number One. Isn't that adorable? You guys know I love red trucks. So it's not a pickup truck. I don't really know what kind of a truck it is, but I need to find a special place to put this. I adore this and I always have. So I was really happy that my mom decided to give it to me. And now it's time for my top commenter for this video. If you don't know what a top commenter is, YouTube puts a purple heart beside your name if you have given me the most comments and then received the most hearts back of all the other commenters. So today's top commenter is Sandra Elaine. She is so sweet and she puts such sweet comments on my videos. And evidently she's done it a lot because she's got a purple heart. So I wanna thank you, Sandra, and congratulations on being my top commenter. You're the very last one. I put everybody's name on a slip of paper and I picked one for each video where I had a top commenter. So until somebody else pops up with the purple heart, that'll be it for the top commenters for now. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you were one of them, I wanna thank you again for all of your comments and all of your support of my channel. That's it for Sunday Fun Day. Now you have a job to do. Go to the description box and find the playlist link and then go and show some love to all my friends. A lot of them are crafters, but really Sunday Fun Day is whatever you wanna do. So you might find a great variety of videos there to watch. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.